Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Jackie and today what I thought I would do is a kind of get to know me, get ready with me. Um, I needed to do my makeup to film another video anyway. That's my daughter in the background. Um, I also thought I would utilize this time as I am going to be doing my makeup to um, kind of engage with people who do watch my videos and tell you a little bit more about myself and hopefully um, you guys can feel a little bit more connected as much as we can through a camera. Let's just jump in. Um, what I'll do is I'll just be applying my makeup and I guess talking about myself a little bit. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm going to start with my eyes. Um, I'm going to be using this Mecca Max palette. So I'm going to prime my eyes with the Smashbox Lid Primer. So what can I say about myself? First of all, I have two children. I have a two-year-old son and an eight-week-old daughter. In my videos, you may sometimes hear them in the background. They are always around. And I also thought instead of trying to pretend like my life is perfect, that I live this really quiet life when I do my videos and there's never any noise around me, um, I would just kind of be raw and honest. But I still wanted to put my life out there and my content out there. So I thought I would just do it, kids and all. I'm going to start off with this base color here. And I'm just going to pop them sort of on the brow bone. I'm going to go into this colour, which is a nice transition shade. Okay, what else can I say about myself? So I am 26. At the moment, I am on maternity leave, which is why I kind of wanted to start up my freelancing again. I wanted to make YouTube videos just so I can stay sort of current. And I can still kind of maintain my skills as a makeup artist. What else can I say about myself? Okay, <laughs> I know. My real name is actually Jacqueline, kind of like Jacqueline Hill, like spelled exactly the same. And I do love my name. And I feel like Jacqueline is really formal. Like, I don't know, I feel like when people call me Jacqueline, I feel like it's a really formal thing. Um, and I feel like I'm not formal at all. Like, as you can see, like, I don't get my nails done very often. I usually only get it done for special occasions or special events. Um, usually in my videos, you'll see my hair is not groomed at all. But I do like to get dressed up for events. I like to save it for that so I can feel like I'm getting all glammed up. I'm just going to go into more of that burnt orangey colour. And I'm just going to go more in my crease, not taking it as high as the transition shade. Just kind of focusing that more on the outer corner. Now I don't know what to say about myself. Like, I really don't. I have an amazing partner. He's so supportive of everything that I do. Uh, his name's Blake. We've been wanting, well, I've been wanting to film a boyfriend does your makeup tag. Um, but he's been a little bit hesitant. But he promised as soon as um, we're both at home at the same time and my son is with his grandmother, we'll shoot one. So I'm really, really excited to do that. And I'm really excited to see... Um, <laughs> how he does. I said in the meantime, he better start watching tutorials. That way he can, you know, really do a good job. Gosh, why is this so hard to like think of things about myself? I guess it's because I don't, maybe I feel like when I talk about myself, I'm bragging. Maybe I'm just not that interesting. Um, okay. When I was younger, well, not that much younger. So when I was 22, a joined a beauty pageant oh that's another fact about me i'm half filipino half australian and i joined the miss philippines australia pageant before i go into this story i'm just gonna show you what color i'm just gonna go into this v 
this gold color right here. Maybe it's 21 now. I can't even remember. Oh, no, it's 21, 21. So I joined the Miss Philippines Australia pageant and I won Miss Charity Queen and Miss Philippines Australia runner up. When I was younger growing up, I always wanted to do the pageant, but like I just never really had the confidence. And then one year I was just, I was doing hair and makeup for one of the contestants and I loved it. Like I loved being backstage. I loved the energy and I was like, why have I not done this? Like, why have I been putting this off for so long? Like, like I'm a confident person generally. Like, why wouldn't I just go for it? This color is so glittery. Like, it is a glitter. Um, yeah, why wouldn't I just go for it? So the next year I did, I really, really put my mind to it. Like, I really, like, I did positive affirmations the night that I decided that I was going to join. And everything just fell into place like getting like everything just fell into place like I can't even describe so I'm a big believer in um manifesting your dreams or like manifesting anything you have a goal towards so I'm really like a big believer in that especially after having everything fall into place and me actually win the the title of Miss Charity Queen and Miss Philippines Australia anyways that was amazing the following year um me and the winner of that because I was also runner-up but there was also another winner and um, she got the title Miss Philippines Australia and um, we actually went to the Philippines okay so I just wanted to do something really simple the eyes are done I am going to pop some lashes on okay so yeah the following year um, me and the other title holder um, we went to the Philippines and we got to um, do the charity side of it. So we visited um, the charities that the pageant sponsors. Um, all of this is done through um, the Filipino Fiesta in Sydney. It's called Fiesta Cultura. Cultura. I don't really have a Filipino accent, so it's really hard for me to say. Oh, where is my glue? And we got to visit the various places that our money was going to, which was really, really like nice. Like it was really, it was a really like eye-opening experience um i loved my favorite was visiting the house of angels charity which is an orphanage i don't know like you just walk in there you meet the children and they really just melt your heart i should probably mention because it'll probably not make sense um the the pageant and the fiesta raise money to go towards various charities in the Philippines and this is something that they do every year and I'm still involved I did take a year off this year because I was pregnant and I was giving birth around the time of the fiesta so I did I did take a year off why is this not sticking don't you love how some days your lashes go on like that and then some days they just do not want to work for you? Okay, I'm going to stop touching them for now and I'll come back to them if they're not sitting right. Now, let's move on to the base. I have already prepped my skin with the Smashbox Primer Oil. So now I will go on to the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm going to use Punjab today because on camera I always look like a ghost with my right colour foundation. So today I'm going to use one that's a little bit darker. Um, another fact about me, I love, 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 love to travel. Like I feel like if I don't like, if I haven't gone on a holiday for quite a long time, like, I just, I don't know, I can't sit still. I can't sit still. I love exploring. I love eating. Like, I just, I love being in another country, knowing that this country is, like, completely different to yours. I love meeting new people in other countries. Like, I don't know, I just love the whole thing. So I do tend to travel quite a bit. I mean, it's a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder now that I have kids. But I do try to make it work. And 
My son seems to love exploring as well. I think it's because he loves like airplanes and he loves buses and trains and like they get really, kids get really excited about stuff like that. So if you, if, I feel like because I've made, I make it like an adventure, they enjoy it. A lot of people can't believe that I'm half Filipino. Like they think I don't look like it at all, but I do look exactly like my mum. Um, and she is the Filipino one. I'm really Filipino at heart. Um, I eat a lot of Filipino foods. Uh, I'm involved um, with the Filipino community in Sydney. I travel to the Philippines quite frequently because I love it there. Um, no, seriously, I, I mustn't have an interesting life because I can't think of things to talk about. But it's nice like being able to like kind of share this with you guys because I feel like through a camera slash computer slash phone it is a little bit harder to connect but oh, no, broken. Broken. what's broken? Okay, I think my problem with these lashes are they are a little bit too short for my eyes so they do kind of like pull up on the inner part of my eye but that is okay nothing a little bit of eyeliner can't fix. Um, now what I'm going to do is set my face with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I love this foundation. It like smooths the skin out. Like it's amazing. This smooths the skin out while giving it the most amazing coverage. Before I found this pressed powder, I found I couldn't wear any pressed powders on my face because it just exaggerated my pores so i am just pressing this into the skin because i really want the coverage from it okay face is set and i did that powder all over i'm not gonna bake or anything today or use a lighter powder underneath i'm just gonna keep it nice and simple okay now i'm going to use my bobby brown bronzer this one here it's called barley brown and it's got a number five on it and I'm just going to use this to warm up my cheeks I'm going to contour and bronze at the same time I don't want this to be a one-sided conversation I definitely would love to hear from anyone who's watching this video right now to tell me a little bit about themselves drop by say hi Okay, I'm going to be using this Mecca Cosmetica highlighter. The This is the old packaging. It was limited edition. Mecca brought it out again in like a rose gold packaging, I believe. But this highlighter is absolutely like... Whew, like this is probably the most used and abused because I just think it's pretty. Like I want to look wet and shiny when I wear this, whenever I go for this one. So let's get these cheeks happening. I'm gonna spritz my face with some Max, Max, some Mac Fix Plus. I bathe in this stuff. I love the smell of it. Okay, so I'm gonna do my lips now and i'm going to do my brows off camera because my brows take ages i am going to use the huda beauty liquid matte mini in venus i did my brows and i used the Too faced um crayon called brownie i don't know where i've put it down where did i put it i went under the eye with that orange like that burnt orange that i used for my crease and for the inner corner i thought i would do this color here for it started with a bit of my mac fix plus it's nice it's like a peachy oh it's nice thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better oh like i said i don't want this to be one-sided i would love to hear from anyone who's watching this even if you're not subscribed to me um leave a little bit about yourself in the comment section below and i guess this is it for now but i'll see you guys on my next video
Thank you. Bye.